is Community Connection. Thanks for tuning in this morning to the Community Connection. Uh, joining me this morning is Mr. Bruce Trice with the C Cascade City County Health Department. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for being here this oh, morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So January is um, National Read on uh, Take Action Month, is that right? That's right, yeah. Okay, can yeah. you tell us a little bit about uh, what the department is urging people to do this well, month? Urging people to test their homes for radon levels and during the winter is the best time to test because houses are usually closed up more, so there's less dilution. And uh, radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that occurs in the soil, and when it accumulates in your home, it can cause an increased risk of lung cancer. It's actually the second leading cause of lung cancer pretty much around the world, you know, second behind smoking. So it is a, a serious health concern, and EPA is promoting radon awareness during January. Okay, and like you were saying, exposure to radon commonly happens in houses when, um, you know, when we're all bundled up in the winter months? Correct, yeah. Okay, yeah. sure. And uh, who, are, who, I guess, falls victim mm. um, to radon? Is it everyone? Is it the young? Is it the elderly? You know, mm. who is this a risk for? Everyone, it's probably the greatest risk for people that do smoke, um, but it also probably a great risk for the young and just everyone that would be exposed to it. It just, you're inhaling a radioactive gas, and when it contacts the lung tissue, it can increase that risk of developing lung cancer. Sure, so can we talk a little bit about radon here in Cascade County? Um, you know, how much of a problem is radon? Uh, we've uh, over 20 years of sampling data, and over 60% of the homes that we've sampled have exceeded the EPA recommended level of four picocuries per liter, and picocuries per liter is just a way that they use to measure radioactivity. Okay, so um, you have with you um, a piece of equipment, oh. though, that can help uh, detect radon. Yeah, yeah, these uh, canisters are available from our department for $25. You can put them in from anywhere from a month to a year, and the longer sampling periods are more representative of radon levels because they can vary with, you know, seasonally, depending on what the weather is, what the wind is doing. So we recommend a longer sampling period, you know, again, anywhere from a month to a year. And the canisters, you'll just would pick it up in our office and then return it to us after that exposure period. And we'll send it in. The price of analysis is included in that uh, cost. And then we'll send the data to you when it's available. Okay, and that's all included for $25 that's at the City County Health Department. That's correct. Okay, yeah. very yeah. neat. Now, um, is it often commonly found in people's houses to have um, a device for radon testing, or is it something people often have to stink? Uh, stop and think twice about, you know, do I have this sort of safety device in my home? Oh, they consciously have to go and, and pick, get a monitoring device and then uh, just put it in their home. And probably one of the challenges after six months is to remember to bring it back to us. <laughs> right. And I read somewhere, um, and you might have mentioned it earlier, that um, radon is colorless and odorless, um, which can be hard to detect oh. or even hard to remember to renew your... Oh. Radon. Exactly, yes, and it's so there aren't any symptoms of exposure either until one would develop lung cancer. So that's one of the challenges in, in the, with the radon threat that's out there. Definitely. Well, uh, thank you so much for meeting yeah. us today. That's all the time that we have this okay. morning. Um, but you can find all the information on Radon um, National uh, Take Action Month uh, on our websites, KRTV and KXLH.com. And uh, thanks for watching. All right. Okay, thank you.